And so this week's golf tip, we think what we need to hit on is just planning. Yeah. You know, so uh, you want to improve your game, you want to become a better golfer, you need to have a plan. And so some, some simple stuff that we can do to develop a plan of action is step one, we got to know our weaknesses, right? Yes, yes. So you got to go look at your, you know, when you go and play a round of golf, uh, keep track of your stats. And a lot of people, they just go out, and that's fine. It depends on, you know, what level of golf you're at and what you're looking to do. But if you do want to improve, you need to know where your stats are, you know, how many fairways you're hitting, how many greens and regulation you're hitting, uh, how many putts you're doing, and having the all-around game so you know what to work on. And then what you can see is, is maybe you're not hitting the ball far enough uh, to be able to score. Well, that fitness and flexibility and all those things are a big part of that. So the fitness is uh, a big part of the being playing good golf and uh, in reaching your goals. Right, right. So, I mean, it's absolutely fun and natural to look at our strengths and focus on what we're good at. But to really improve our game, do an honest self-assessment on your weaknesses, Nine, 99% of golfers out there, you know, there's there's fitness weaknesses. You know, even if we've been doing a fitness program, there's still things that we can improve upon. But most golfers out there are not doing any fitness. And so yeah. incorporating a golf-specific fitness program into that plan is very pertinent, very important. It'll help you improve. Uh, the other aspect of that is don't try to, you know, don't try to accomplish everything all at once. You know, you're going you're gonna, to... Get all your weaknesses kind of itemized out, and there's a season to tackle all those. All right, fitness, it, you know, it's the perfect time to do that is the off season, just like what we're doing. It's also a good time of time of year to tackle a couple of other things. You know, what are some other weaknesses that golfers might have? Yeah, yeah. Uh, with when it comes to the swing, uh, when you break it down, and, and a really good drill is called the slow motion drill, swing drill. And that's what, you know, with our program we do here, I really work a lot on different positions uh, because you can tell where your swing goes wrong when you go slow motion. And when you feel that, I always say work slow to fast. So start slow, break and, and start small. You know, do small swings uh, and work on different aspects of your swing so then you know when your swing goes bad. So I can tell why the ball goes left and curves off to the right. Um, and I can tell, you know, why maybe you're struggling hitting the, the centeredness of contact on the club face. Uh, so really breaking it down and keeping it simple. I mean, you don't have to, you know, analyze every little movement in your golf swing. You can do that in a slow motion drill, but really pinpointing, okay, I'm struggling at this position. It could be your setup. It could be the top of your backswing, and it could be that move down through impact, the moment of truth. So, uh, yeah, so having a plan, you know, just like a business or anything, if you fail to plan, you're planning to fail. So that's the same thing with golf, same thing with fitness, uh, reaching your goals. you got to have it before, just like you did with this program. Know where you're at, and then where, where do you want to get to. And 